All right, here it is. It's about as far as we're going to go tonight. Um, there was some pretty, pretty hacked up stuff going on with this once I started taking it apart. The cooling system is definitely, definitely um, nasty. It There's orange rust. You'll see here from the hoses. Yeah, so like I mentioned to you guys uh, in the previous video, this car was pretty hacked up. I mean, the car was a mess. It really was, but we bought it for the swap. We didn't buy the car for the car. I wish we would took some videos of it so you could have seen it before. Um, but car's already gone. Uh, that's already got scrapped. The, the chassis wasn't safe. I mean, it was pretty, pretty hacked up. So luckily we were able to drive the car. So we actually had a feel for what this engine feels like. So we are confident that the motor and training are good. Um, but obviously you can see it, it needs some love. So, I mean, one of the things, the uh, valve cover was literally silicone on. I mean, this, this, this is the gasket right here, and it's silicone. The whole thing is siliconed on. Um, now that it's all torn apart, definitely notice we're going to have to get some new bolts um, all the way through. They're all stripped. Uh, this one specifically was glued on. There was just a, there was a nut glued on to it or siliconed on to hold that in place. There was only one bolt holding the distributor in place. Um, Obviously, the cooling system's nasty. The alternator, it's off, but the axle boot uh, was split open right here. must have been split open, and it, just, it was just filthy, filthy, filthy. So this is pretty much as far as I want to go for now until Chooch comes over, does his thing, does his inspection. He's, he's the one that's going to give us the go-ahead and to move forward with it, but... I hope it's good. I hope it's good enough to pass his inspection. And then we'll start getting this thing cleaned up. We're going to do a lot of cool things. We've got a lot of cool parts for it. And uh, we'll go from there. As for now, uh, we'll move on to the next task. All right. So we got the approval from Chooch. Visually on the motor, everything looks, looks good. Um, obviously, we'll find out once we get the car running and everything dialed in. So with that said, it's time to get this thing prepped for basically paint. Uh, we're not gonna do a crazy paint job on it. We're gonna clean it up real nice and do a rattle can spray, uh, spray, spray paint job on it. You guys will see, we'll go through all those steps. So a couple small things that I do personally that we do here uh, as far as cleaning the engine up. Um, for example, like just the block itself. Now there's a dozen different ways that people do this, right? I don't like using water personally because well, I don't want to get water in the engine. I don't trust tape. I don't trust anything to, to keep that engine dry. So I use degreaser. I use a small amount of degreaser and I wipe it down with the, with the dirty microfiber. Uh, it seems to do pretty well. And I'll show you guys here now. And then after that, what I use is like a, uh, like a 3M uh, bristle pad or something like that. Just kind of scuff up the, scuff up the block a little bit to give us some, something to grab onto as far as the paint. But that's that's probably in the next episode. So I'll show you guys here. Um, basically what I use is I, I just get a real strong degreaser. I do a 50-50 mix in this, in this pump here. So I'll show you. Just like a little spot like right here. It's a pretty dirty spot right here. So you can already see because of the strength of the uh, degreaser, it's already kind of coming off just, just by spraying on it. So that little spot there, I'll just grab I'll grab the microfiber and really just start laying into it. You might have to do this a couple times to really get it clean. It's definitely a lot more time consuming, but I'm a perfectionist. That's just my, that's just my thing. So I'll do that. Kind of spray it down a little bit more. And you get the point. You can see there it's, it's already getting pretty pretty clean. The color's coming back of the actual engine. Not bad.
for the more like stubborn spots, the bristle pad, the bristle pad that we use, like I said, I'll show you in the next video. Um, that alone will take take that stuff off 100%. This is really just to get the motor cleaned up, get all the oil and debris off of it from oil leaks and whatever else this motor went through in its life. Obviously, it was never cleaned. So that's that. Now, for example, on like the front timing cover area, this thing has had crankshaft oil seal leaking for sure. Um, I'm sure something else was leaking in here at one point, but this is the stuff I personally like to use a lot. It's a high, high power brake cleaner. Um, this has that really strong nozzle on it. This is what gives you kind of like that real strong pressurized um, spray to kind of knock off oil. So you'll see in here, for example, like right here, this is all oil buildup. Uh, I don't know how long it's been on there. It's been on there for years, but the nice thing about this brake clean you start spraying it. So you can see that there, it starts to clean up pretty good. Now I will say, I will admit, using that, that brake clean, not just this brand, but in general, to do it like this, it can get expensive. I will say that. So you kind of hit it again with the uh, microfiber. A lot of that oil starts to break up and comes off. Now, obviously this is not gonna be visual. This all comes down to personal, personal preference. I like my stuff 100% clean all the time. I wanna know everything that goes on in there. I do everything, well, not just me, but everybody here, we do everything the right way. We clean everything up. Make sure everything's spotless before everything goes back together. We're gonna do a new water pump, new pulleys, all that jazz. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So these are the techniques that we use um, to clean up the motor. So as of right now, me and Stev are gonna start hammering on this engine, get it nice and clean, get it ready for, for paint. And then, uh, yeah, so we're gonna get to work now. turned out pretty good this is this is Steph's side this is the side that came out the best in my opinion a uh, lot of a lot of uh, nooks and crannies got cleaned out uh, this side really really happy with we definitely found out how bad the cooling system is and how rusted it got um, it's nasty after we took the pipe off the crossover pipe uh, it's it's rusty rusty orange a lot worse than what I thought it was but it's okay we're gonna flush it out we're gonna get it cleaned up cleaned up right um, I think that's about it. This side here came out pretty good. A couple spots are, are being very difficult. These little cracks, these little areas here, but it's okay. We'll get that all cleaned up and then, um, we'll do it. We'll get it. We'll get it right. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Front of the, front of the engine looks good. Like I said, a lot of the stuff is going to get replaced anyways with uh, new stuff, but a lot of these areas need to get cleaned. Um, we're probably gonna put a new timing cover on. This one got kind of messed up from the oil leak, but that's pretty much it. So now we'll just uh, hit it with the 3M pad, get it ready for paint, mask everything off that needs to get masked off, and uh, we'll be set, get this puppy installed.